everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. <coughs> Pardon me. I got a little bonus video here for you. Um, what I'm going to do, because we're getting close to that wonderful um, Valentine's Day, uh, my hubs and I are not really big on celebrating um, Valentine's Day as far as, uh, you know, the cards and the all that crap, okay? We're just, we don't do that stuff. We love each other. We know it. We don't have to show each other one day a year, you know? But anyways, I've been thinking about it, and... With the whole theme this month, with the um, pink and hearts and love and whatever, what I'm going to do is I've got just plain tags here. All these are is just um, tags where I've either purchased something, uh, which is basically I think what they all are. You know, I've taken them off clothing or I've taken them off something, anything. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gesso all these. They all do have a hole in the top of them, which is good because I'm going to be using that hole. And I'm going to make a little book out of these. And I will share with you as I do it because I'm going to make a little book and I have an idea what to do with it. So let's see how it goes. Now, if you don't have tags like this, you can use um, random pieces. There's a purple hair. I wonder where that come from. Uh, you can use random pieces of cardstock. You could use uh, pieces of cardboard, like a cereal box would work fantastic for this. Um, you know, use what you have. Don't go out and buy, you know, clothes just so you can get the tags. That's, that's not what this is all about. So let me just move this over. I think I have 10 tags here, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll have to check here in a minute. And if you hear my music, it's like a funky, I don't know, global chill, I think is what it's called. So it sounds like it's thunking over there. My gesso jug is almost empty. I'm trying to decide if I want to fill it back up again or if I want to just use gesso out of the pot. And I think it's just going to be gesso out of the pot. So I'm just going to put a real nice coat of gesso on these, front and back. We're going to dry them up. Um, and then, actually I may just be doing the backs of them. I don't know. I don't know. We're playing. This is, I'm doing this as I go. I'm thinking it as I go. Right, that one's done. Let's get one more. The only reason I stuck it on that piece of paper is because I couldn't see wasting that gesso. It's just going to add texture to that piece of paper, right? Okay. turn that music down a little bit okay all right let's let this dry and I'll be right back all right so now what I've done is I've taken all my tags that have been gessoed and I put them through my sticker maker Zyron sticker maker and now what I'm going to do they have a sticker on the back side of them which is what I'm looking for and so this is the side we didn't gesso what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these just with some random scraps of scrapbook paper that I have out. Okay. So here's one. Another one. Let's see what we've got here. Oops. Got this strip here. And we're just going to cover up this back side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back with you. All right, so what I've done is I have all the papers on. I took a black um, ink pad and I just went around the outsides, okay? Um, the back is the ones that's all coated with gesso, which is fine. And then I took my hole punch, trusty little hole punch here, whoops, that I just lost the thing on, and punched holes in everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate each one of these and I'm going to do it a little bit with washi, a little bit with um, some die cuts I have here. And let's get this going and I will be back.
right, so now I've got um, I've got them started on the decorating. Some of them I've got to refix the edges because now the edges aren't black. Um, but let me just see what I got here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some words that I have here. Um, oh, here's one, Adora. I'll have to put that on somewhere. And I've got just some stickers here. And what I plan on doing is... I'm kind of making this book for my husband and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on here things that I love about him and we're just going to make it a little book. So let's get going. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so here's what I did. Um, I've got it all together. I threw some, some scrap ribbons and lace on here, which is kind of cool. I stuck it on a, um, a ring. And I have all these little cards and they each have little sayings on them. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along on those and add my own um, little thoughts. And this one doesn't have anything. I'm just going to write on it. But I just thought this was a cool little bonus um, for this month. Go ahead and use up some old tags, use up some um, cereal boxes, make them into little tags, and make something like this for somebody that you love. Um, it could be a, you know, a granddaughter, a child, a son, a daughter, whichever. But I thought you guys would enjoy. So, as always, have fun. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video as always hit like share comment I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions um, and as always be kind have fun that's what life's all about and happy creating we'll talk to you soon bye